Here we go. Duval makes a move on the football and he boots it. And it's a squibber. It'll be fielded over there by Richard at five out to the ten. Richard finds a little seam across the 20 and they bury him at the 25 yard line. No setback. Zow's in the shotgun. Zow taking the snap. Andrew Zow going to fire a pass. That one is caught up at the 33-yard line and hit immediately is McAdley. Motion by Millens back toward the ball. Zow rolls out, sets up, wants to pass. Forced out of the pocket. Going to run. Breaks one tackle. Zow still on his feet. Going to get a first down up to the 35 and looks like a flag is down on the player, is it? Luke and Collins on the far side and they flip-flop the tight end. Sean Draper put him on the right side of the formation. Here's a toss sweep. Galloway. Galloway on a penalty play. Cuts around the right side and is hit after a short gain. Here's the call. Offside. Five yards. Repeat first down. So Auburn lines up off sides. Four wides to the right. One to the left for Zal. Sideline left. Open field to the right. A bad snap. He picks it up. He throws out in the flat. Got a man. 40, 45. McCadley 50. 45, 40. Down the near sideline. 35, 30. They hit him and down he goes at the 28-yard line. He drags Carter in motion toward the ball. He spins in the backfield. Off the play fake. Rolls to his right on the bootleg. Throws in the end zone. Down toward the end zone. Tipped up. It is juggled. Rob Pate comes up with the interception. He's back to the five. Broke a tackle and stumbled out to the ten-yard line. Pate won the jump ball. Pullback Keith Evans ahead of Rudy Johnson. Here's a give to Rudy Johnson. Running to the left. He's got some running room. Five. Ten yards and a first down. Out across the 20 to the 21. Close to the 22. Leared under center. Awaiting the snap. He's got it. He turns. He hands off to Johnson. Straight up the middle. Johnson blasting for five. Close to seven or eight yards. Out near the 30-yard line. As Victor Ellis came up to hit him for Alabama. Here's Ben Lear, drags Ronnie Daniel, uh, Daniels in motion back toward the short side of the field. Going to give it to Rudy Johnson again, up the middle for a first down and more. Rudy out close to the 35-yard line. Wing back to the left, comes in motion. Both ends are split away. There's a play fake to Rudy Johnson. Lear's in trouble, rolling back, and he is hit and he'll be dropped. Big loss on the play. Jarrett Johnson got him. Single setback is Heath Evans and Leard. He's going to back away from the line of scrimmage and run from the shotgun. The play clock running down. He's got the snap. He fires over the middle. Pass is caught. Tight end catches it. Close to a first down. Got it at the 45-yard line. Lorenzo Diamond coming over the middle. Damon Duvall to punt on fourth and 12. Standing back there at his 30. Antonio Carter in single safety for Alabama. High snap. He pulls it down and barely got it away. And it's going to be a roughing the kicker call, I believe. Ball is taking an Auburn roll inside the 15 to the 10. Rolling dead about the eight yard line Bearden waits for the deep snap Clifton Robinson is the deep man for Auburn Auburn must have the return on that's a nice tight spiral by Bearden and a fair catch called by Robinson he'll take it at the Alabama 48 yard line Leard may be changing his play Ben pulls away from center hands it off to Rudy Johnson cuts to the left Johnson needs a block he's inside the Alabama 45 and they ride him down at about the 43 yard line play clock at eight Leard Waiting, getting the snap. He looks, going to give it to Evans. Got some running room. Evans to the 40. Evans open field, 35-30, 25-20. He's at the 15. He's at the 10, and they drop him at the 9-yard line. Beautifully done. The give to Heath Evans. Justin Fetsko kneels at the 12 or 13. The ball straight away. No angle whatsoever. Let's go to hold. The kick by Duvall is away. It is good. And Auburn draws first blood as the first quarter comes to an end. And uh, Mills uh, catches Zhao all the way on the opposite side. Second and long nine. Speeding out on the uh, bootleg is Zhao. Rolls to his right. Throws up field. Got his man at the 30-yard line. Close to a first down is Freddie Millen. Bearden takes a high snap. Pulls it down and delivers a high floating spiral. It's going to bounce at the 32 or 3 and take an Alabama roll. 25. It's still rolling to the 21-yard line, and they'll kill it there. Keith Evans is in there as a lineman, and that may be uh, the tip-off to whether Duvall throws on fourth down and long from his 20. Let's see. No, he's going to kick it. And he launches a tight spiral, angling toward the far side, fielded by Antonio Carter to 42, and he's dragged down at the 45-yard line. Sal in the shotgun. Double wing set. He takes the snap just in the nick of time, and he pump fakes, and he throws. It's Carter, 45. Carter up to midfield. Lost the football. Alabama's got it. Close to a first down. 
All right, Alabama fourth and inches at the Auburn 45. They'll punt. There's a snap to Bearden. Bearden delivers a low, wobbly, short kick off the side of his foot. It'll hit at the 25 and roll dead around the Auburn 20-yard line. Play clock at five as he backs away and waits the snap. He's got it, and he's going to hand it off to Rudy Johnson. Slips through one tackle, breaks to the outside, looks for some running room. He's at the 25, and he spins out to the 26 or 7-yard line. Slot to the left side, single wide out to the right. Single setback is Johnson. Rudy's got the call, and they submarine on a penalty play and drop him as he tried to hurdle a tackler at about the 28-yard line. Victor Ellis got the stop for Alabama. And if it is a penalty... Offside, uh, defense, five-yard penalty, result the first down. Automatic first down as Auburn only needed about three yards for the first and ten. Antonio Carter deep for Alabama, fourth and eight. Duval to kick. Wobbly driving kick back inside the 20. Carter takes it about the 16. He gets away from two men and can't get away from a third, and down he goes at about the 24. Robinson is deep at his 30. Snap to Bearden, and he booms it away. This one a better kick than the last one, and they're going to let it go. Clifton Robinson calling for the fair catch, then backed away from it. Second and 10, no gain at all on that first play from scrimmage. Pulling away from center, Ben Leard going to throw over the middle. D.D. Green, running room, 45-50. He's at the 45. He's to the Bama 40-yard line. First and 10, Tigers. Leard with a long snap count. He takes it. Toss sweep. Rudy Johnson running to his right. Needs a block. Turns a corner. Heads it upfield. Dances up the sidelines. He's at about the 45 where they knock him out of bounds. Both ends are split to either side. Clifton Robinson now becomes a third wide receiver in the slot to the right side, the short side of the field. Leard retreats from center, rolls out to his right on the bootleg, throws back across the middle of the field to Robinson, and they nail him at the 31-yard line. After he makes the catch, Salim Rashid hits him and drops him at the 31. I set in the backfield, toss sweep Rudy, rolls to his right, looking to get outside, bounces off one man. He's got the first down as he spins inside the 30 and drives to the 29-yard line. It's going to be a 42-yard effort with 54 seconds to go in the half. Slippery conditions, a lot of rain. They spot it, put it down, the kick is away. High, long, and good. The second field goal of the game by Damon Duvall to extend the Auburn lead to 6 to nothing. Richard to the near side, McCadley to the far side, both with great speed. Duvall going to kick almost uh, a chip shot. It's going to be fielded at the 18. McCadley to the 20, 25, down this near sideline at the 30, and they hit him and drive him out of bounds at the 40-yard line. 13 seconds, trips to the right, wide out, single wide out to the left, low snap is out, going to give it to a setback, and they pull him down immediately right there at the line of scrimmage. It was Arvin Richard who was dropped by Javor Mills, and it's going to be fourth down, a loss of about a yard on the play, and that's going to be the end of the first half. Alabama didn't offer to call timeout and stop the clock, even though they had timeouts remaining. And uh, the first half will end with Auburn leading it 6 to nothing over home standing Alabama here in wet and rainy and cold Tuscaloosa. Auburn moving from our right to our left to start the second half. Thomas kicks it down the middle of the field and deep. It'll be fielded by Hood at the 5. Speeds to the 10 to the 15. He's in the open field of the uh, 30. Still on his feet at the 35. He's across the 40. And they corral him at the 43-44 yard line. Charlie, that's just what the doctor ordered. Leard loads up the shotgun. He's got the snap. He's looking. He's throwing. Near side. Got D.D. Green for a first down. And he's out of bounds at the Alabama 43. D.D. Green over on this near boundary. Milo Lewis hit him and drove him out of bounds. And Reggie Worthy to the near side. Deep snap to Leard in the shotgun. He throws to the far side. It is caught. Pulling away is the receiver at the 40, and he's into the 35-yard line, Marcel Willis. And they gather him in there at about the 35, maybe the 34. Rudy Johnson, single setback, two wide outs to the left. Alabama shows blitz. And there's uh, the play fake by Leard. Rolls out, throws to an open receiver at 30. First down, and crashing to the 25 is Lorenzo Diamond. He's on to about the 22 or 3. Ben Leard under center. Waiting for the snap, single setback, Rudy Johnson hands it off to Rudy, breaks off the right side, breaking tackle, slips through one, he's at the 15, he's at the 10, he drives onto the 5 and maybe the 4-yard line! Leard changing a play, Rudy Johnson, the lone setback, second down, short drop by Leard, throws the fade route in the end zone and it's intercepted. Intercepted Alabama, and Auburn just shot itself in the foot. Oh my goodness! 
Galloway dots the eye in the eye formation. Motion by the wide receiver far side. Ahmad Galloway breaks for five, six yards as he blasts off the left side. Got to the 26-yard line. Offset eye in the backfield. And Freddie Millen's calling the play. Millen slips away from one man, rolling out to the right. He's in a lot of trouble, and they're going to drop him way back on the 22-yard uh, line as Larry Casher headed the pursuit. Lane Bearden to punt from the Bama 22. He stands inside the 10. He'll kick to, clip, uh, to uh, Robinson, and it's a good tight spiral. He'll turn it over. Fair catch is called. It is taken at Auburn's 36, and they're going to penalize Alabama for violating the halo. Ben Leard. Reaches under, waits for the snap. He's got two wides to the right, one to the left. And he play fakes to Johnson, rolls to the near side and throws up field. It'll be intercepted. Intercepted at the 40-yard line by Connie Brown. Second straight interception in as many throws for Ben Leard. Zow's in the shotgun. Blocking for him will be Myrie. Zow back to throw, looking for some help. He's in trouble, and he's going down. They sack him back near midfield. McNeil and Mills. Robinson waits at the 10 for Bearden's punt. Bearden boots it away. It's a low kick. Robinson asking for a fair catch and takes it at his 11-yard line. Johnson is the blocker. Three wideouts to the right, right side. Leard waits. He takes the deep snap in the shotgun. Got plenty of time. Throws out in the flat. Heath uh, Evans has it. Heath Evans 15. Heath Evans to the 20. And he barrels on to about the 21-yard line. And I think he's got his first down. The ball at the right side hash mark. Leard takes the snap. There's a pitch to Rudy Johnson trying to turn the corner. Across the 20. Broke the tackle 25. He's to the 30-yard line. And down he goes. Damon Duvall waits for the snap back inside the 20. He's got it. He boots it out of there. And it's a low, wobbly kick that's taking an Auburn roll inside the 30 and will roll dead at the 26-yard line. Brandon Myrie, Dustin McClintock behind him in the eye set. Two wide outs to his right. He pulls away from center. Play fake. Rolls to his right on the bootleg. Zhao, will he run? He's at the 25. He'll carry it out to the 30. Zhao in the shotgun. Waiting, gets the snap from Hogan. Zhao stands up in the pocket and throws, and the pass is caught, and that's good for an Alabama first down at the 39-yard line by Jason McAdley. Bearden will take the snap from get it away inside his 35, and he'll probably try to pin Auburn deep if he can. A wobbly kick. It's going to bounce at the 27, and will roll dead at the 25. Evans is the lone setback. In the, uh, in the uh, shotgun is Leard. He's looking to throw. Down the middle, pass is caught by the open receiver, 45 to the Bama, to the 50 to the Bama, 49, maybe the 48-yard uh, line, Lorenzo Diamond. Here's the eye formation behind Ben Leard. He gives it to Rudy Johnson, cuts to the outside, sidesteps one man. He's got five, he's close to 10, and down inside the 40 at the 39 as we check in with Paul Ellen in Auburn Network Control. Two wides left, and the eye formation behind Ben Leard. He'll hand it off to Rudy Johnson. He's got a first down. He's got a little more as he pulls his way onto the 36-yard line. Both ends are split away for Ben Leard. He's operating from under center. Leard pulls away. Play fake. Sets up. Throwing long for D.D. Green. He's got it inside the 10 and he's down at the 5-yard line out of bounds along the near side. Auburn needs to make it count. They've been here before three times today. This is the third visit to the Alabama five-yard line. Leard play fakes on the bootleg, dropped the ball, and lost five yards at the 10. From the 17, angled back to the right. They'll put it on the far hash mark. Duvall kicks it away out of the hold of Fesco, and that one is up and good. The third field goal of the afternoon by Damon Duvall gives Auburn a 9-0 lead with 9-18 to play. Here in Tuscaloosa, they've got three wideouts. Actually, they got four. Maybe trying to get Brandon Myrie on a, on a uh, linebacker right here. Now, here is uh, the snap, and the uh, deep snap goes to Zhao. Upfield, he throws to Collins, and Collins has it. And steps out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Should have his first down. Lane Bearden is on to kick for Alabama on fourth and ten. He waits for the snap at his 15. Clifton Robinson in single safety for Auburn. Bearden has it, and he kicks it away. Fair catch called at the 30-yard line by Robinson, and he takes it. 
Leard again with a single setback. Rudy Johnson, he's going to give it to Johnson, running to the near side, looking for a block. He's got one. He broke the tackle. He's at the 40. He's at 45. He's all the way out to midfield and driven out of bounds along the near sideline. Heath Evans now, the only setback. Two tight ends, two wide outs to the left. Here's a give to Evans. Evans blasts across the 50 and drives on to the 45-yard line. Again, Evans the lone setback. Second and about four. Evans gets the call at right tackle. Heath keeping his feet. He stumbles inside the 40, drives ahead to the 35-yard line. Victor Ellis had to finally haul him in as he slipped between a couple of tacklers and really barreled into the 35. Single setback. Ball at the right side hash mark for Leard. He takes it, stumbles, gave it to Rudy. Rudy running to the left, looking for a block, turns it to the outside, hurdles a tackler, and dives to the 29-yard line. High formation in the backfield. Evans ahead of Johnson. Give to Johnson on the pitch. Turns the corner. Johnson looking for the first down. He's got it inside the 25 and dragging tacklers with him to about the 24, maybe the 23. Rudy Johnson on fire in Tuscaloosa. Third down, about 11. The ball at the 25 from the eye. Toss sweep to the tailback. Rudy Johnson. Johnson looking for running room. Can't find any. They hit him hard. The ball popped out of the formation. Alabama has recovered the fumble, they say. Alabama has recovered an Auburn fumble inside of three minutes in the game. Rashid uh, may have recovered it. Dixon may have five wide out. Zao's going to throw. Zao looking downfield. He fires. Open receiver. Pass caught at the 40-yard line by Antonio Carter. He was a Mr. Football in Alabama, and Auburn very happy to have him. Third and ten at the Alabama 40. Zao in the shotgun looking to throw. Over the middle. Got his man. Sidesteps one tackle. Antonio Carter, 45. He's to the 50. He's into the Auburn 48-yard line. Three wides left, two right. Zhao with the snap, rolls to his left, got some room, cocks his arm, cuts it back against the grain, still scrambling, going to run, he's got a first down, he's got more, he's to the 35, he's to the 30-yard line. All right, they'll kneel at the 30, this is uh, Neil Thomas, spotting it at actually about the 38-yard line, there's the snap, spot the kick, it's going to be way short, and no good, and that should do it. With a minute five to go, the Auburn Tigers only have to set on the football. Second down snap for Leard with 29 seconds to go. He's got it. He genuflects. Hey, that'll do it. We're going to get out of here with a victory, Charlie. Break out the cigars. Auburn has defeated Alabama. We've still got 17 seconds to play. But their handshakes all around. The celebration has begun. We're down to eight seconds at Tuscaloosa. Auburn's going to win this game. Auburn's going to win the SEC title in the West Division. The Tigers have defeated Alabama nine to nothing. See you later, Bama. I'm headed to Toomer's Corner. War Eagle, everybody.